Welcome back to Nina Renee Knows. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the business day between two dates and then filter on that date. So let's say you have a data set that brings up project IDs and effective dates and you want to calculate the difference between the effective date and today's date. Let's get started. So first I'm going to have you insert a column to the right and you do that by right clicking on the last column, click on insert column and then click on right. And we're going to enter in today's date and to get today's date the function is right click on the box, click on expression and then you can just type in today with um, parens, click OK. And you'll see that we get today's date, September 18th. But what if you want another column that calculates the difference between today's date and the effective date? So go ahead and click back on Design View and add another column to the right. So we are going to add the business days. Again, we are calculating the number of business days, not the number of um, all days, including weekends. We just want the business days. So here is the expression that you should enter in. It's pretty long, but trust me, it works. So as you'll see, we have the effective date, and we also have today's date in the formula. And this formula will calculate the number of business days between these two dates, which are the today's date and the effective date. So let's go ahead and run it. And as you can see, we have the number of business days between September 1st and September 18th, and it's 13. The number of business days between September 16th and September 18th is two days. And then the number of business days between September 3rd and September 18th is 11 days. Now, what if you only want to display in this report records where the number of business days is greater than or equal to 3? I will show you now how to add a filter. Go back to Design View. Go back to Design View and right-click on the name of your data set. Go to Data Set Properties. Go to Filters, click on Add, and then paste in the same expression that you used in the previous formula. So go ahead and paste that in to calculate the business days. Press OK. Change the text type to integer, the operator to greater than or equal to. And then for this example, the value is 3. So we want all records where the calculated business days is greater than or equal to 3. Go ahead and run it. And now you see that there are only two records in our, our report. Whereas before we have three, which calculated the project that had an effective date of September 16th. But because the difference between September 16th and September 18th is only two business dates, it was filtered out of this report. You see, that was super easy, and I will paste the formula that we used in the description box of this video so that it will be easy for you to copy and paste. And if this video was helpful, Give it a thumbs up so that others can see it and join in on the fun and I will see you next time.